Thanks to movies, TV shows, and video games, there's a glamorous view of being a spy, even if it does mean enduring a bit of torture now and then. The fantasy plays on the idea of being fiercely independent and self-sufficient, surviving against the odds even when they're stacked heavily against you. Ubisoft are no stranger to the cloak and dagger world of espionage, and Gameloft has in turn brought Splinter Cell to the App Store, but it's clear there was more creative gas left in the tank, and the end result is Silent Ops. You'll take control of one of three different super agents, each with their own special touch when it comes to destruction and mayhem. This is a key point to consider as the game is decidedly lacking in true stealth elements, despite the subject matter at hand. Occasionally players are forced to approach a situation with care, but most levels break down into running and gunning, making you question how these agents ever manage to get anything done at all. Sadly, the controls can't quite make up its mind either, as streamlined features such as sticking to cover can be performed with ease, but being able to maneuver around a room by walking or sprinting can be a challenge. Detection for the movement controls via the virtual stick and screen swiping is haphazardly combined with a generous auto-aiming system that makes it practically impossible to miss a shot. But more importantly, you'll find yourself spinning around in place to punch someone in the face despite trying to focus on distant enemies, making you an easy target for enemies with guns. This would be less of an issue if you could tell how much health is left before you need to find cover. Blood splatters the edge of the screen as you take damage, but at times you'll fall over dead after only a handful of shots, displaying little to no blood at all, while other moments will have you practically seeing through red goggles as you soak up bullets like a firing range target. It's these inconsistencies in gameplay and controls that make it hard to enjoy silent ops. This is without even addressing the cliched storyline that had me hoping for a Killer 7-like twist thanks to the way in which one of the characters is being interrogated. When these basic elements don't even manage to come together, it's hard to get excited about the occasional beautiful 3D vista or online gameplay. As such, it's hard to recommend Silent Ops when titles within Gameloft's own archives manage to pull off stealth, action and storytelling elements with more polish. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.